Hi there. Now, I'm often asked, what does this symbol here mean? When should I use it? And what's the difference between using the equal sign and this sign here? Well, that's the purpose of this particular tutorial. Identity or equation. And to demonstrate this, let's suppose you're asked to find x for 2x plus 1 equaling 3 lots of x plus 1 and then minus x minus 2. In fact, what I would suggest is that you pause the video and try and find x. Okay? So I'll just give you a few moments to do that. See what you come up with. Okay, well let's see how you got on. If I was doing this, I would most probably just want to copy down the left hand side and then on the right hand side here, just expand this bracket giving me 3x plus 3 and then I'd have minus x minus 2. And then I'd want to simplify the right hand side there. So again we've got therefore 2x plus 1 equals and 3x minus x gives 2x and then we've got plus 3 minus the 2 which is plus 1. And then I'd want to take away say 2x from both sides and I end up with 1 equals 1. And this is looking very confusing. I don't seem to be able to find a value of x. So what's going on? Well, when I look closely, the expression on the right then is exactly the same as the expression on the left. I end up with 2x plus 1 here being identical to the expression on the left here. What we've got is that they're exactly the same they're identical. And when you get situations like this, you can't find a specific value of x. It's not an equation. It's called an identity. And we should write this as 2x plus 1 and we introduce this symbol here. It's the identity symbol. Think of this as can be written as. So we've got 2x plus 1 is identical to or can be written as 3 lots of x plus 1 then minus x minus 2. Let me demonstrate this further. Let's suppose we have for instance something like this where we're asked to expand. Let's say expand what kind of expression can we have? Let's say 5 lots of x minus 2 then with this we would write 5 lots of x minus 2 and we don't write equals we write this symbol here the identical symbol can be written as 5 lots of x minus 2 can be written as 5x minus 10. So it's important you're going to see this symbol when you get something like expand Okay, you should be encouraged to write it in. Where else might you see it? You might be asked to factorize something. So if you're asked to factorize, let's say x squared plus 2x, then what would x squared plus 2x factorize to? Well, we could say that x squared plus 2x can be written as, is identical to, and then pull out a common factor of x and just have x plus 2. So using that symbol again, let's just put three lines underneath there when you see the word factorize, okay? Hopefully you'll know to use the identical sign. You could see it when you're asked to simplify something. Let's just put an example here. Suppose you're asked to simplify, let's say, 5x minus 2 plus 4x plus 5. Then with this one, how can we write 5x minus 2 plus 4x plus 5? How can we simplify it? Well, it can be written as, it's identical to then, 5x plus 4x, which is 9x, and minus 2 plus 5, well, that's going to be plus 3. So again, we've got the identity sign. Whenever 
you're asked to simplify something. So what we've got here are examples of identities and you should be encouraged then to use this symbol here, the three lines. So when do we use the equal sign? Well, the equal sign comes in equations. Let's just put this down here. Equations. That's when we're going to be using the equal sign. Because let's suppose you wrote x plus 1, or given x plus 1 equals 4. We can't use the identical sign here because x plus 1 can't be written as 4. Okay? There's many ways that we could write x plus 1. We could say to x minus x, for instance, plus 1. That is another way of writing x plus 1. But certainly 4 isn't another way of writing x plus 1. So we would solve this by taking 1 from both sides and getting x equals 3. So when you get something like solve, then you've got an equation and you should be using the equal sign. So I'll just do two lines there, okay? You don't necessarily with equations just have one specific value. I'm sure you've seen equations where you get more than one value. Here's an example. Let's suppose you get x squared equals 9. x squared can't be written as 9, so we're not using the identical sign. We're asked to solve an equation. Find the values of x that make this 9. And in the usual way, if we were to take the square root to both sides, we'll end up with two values for x. x could equal plus 3 or minus 3. Plus or minus 3 then. Now with identities, you cannot find a value for x. Because whatever value of x you put in one side, you should get the same value when you put it in the other side. So for instance, if I let x equal 10 here, I'm going to get 21. If you put x equals 10 in here, you'll also get 21. If I put x equals 1, I get 3. This side, I get 3 again. So unlike an equation which has specific values for x, an identity is true for all values of x. So I hope that's given you some idea of the difference between an identity and an equation and how we use the particular symbols. Okay?